And joining us now with more on this mysterious story is Professor Shlomo Shapiro, director of the Europa Institute at Bar Ilan University. Shlomo, thanks for joining. Now, what are the details that can be told about this story about the suspect in uh, custody? The, um, the very worrying uh, thing about this story is the use of uh, chemical weapons. Um, we have seen in the past Iranian cells and Iranian-supported terrorists in Europe uh, trying to plan and trying to carry out attacks against Israeli or Jewish targets or targets against the general population using conventional weapons, using uh, firearm, using vehicles, and so on. Um, what makes this case unique is the relation to chemical weapons, to ricine, um, a very, very dangerous substance. And uh, if they, uh, if this terror group or this terror cell were um, in the situation of obtaining chemicals to make rice in, and uh, its use would have been a game changer in the European terror scene. And before we go to the chemical weapons, how did the German authorities actually know about it? I mean, how did, how did they get to hear about it? Well, from all reports we hear, the information came from the Israeli Mossad, which is monitoring uh, Iranian support of terrorism all over the world. Uh, not necessarily the information came out of Germany uh, itself. It could have come from the monitoring of communication between Iran uh, and its uh, uh, workers in uh, uh, Europe. It could have come from other sources uh, such as Lebanon um, or other terrorist supporting countries. Uh, but we should be very happy that the cooperation between the Mossad and European intelligence services is so tight um, that the Germans could take action very quickly uh, to foil this plot. And as you mentioned, ricin and other dangerous substances, pretty deadly stuff, not a planned terrorist bombing or shooting. Is the thinking that this was part of a planned uh, mass attack? I believe that in this case, the Iranians were looking at obtaining more media coverage worldwide for their terror activities. Um, the Iranians are quite frustrated because of Israeli successes in uh, various actions against their nuclear weapon uh, program in Iran and outside it. Um, and I think they are trying to break this deadlock by doing something, some sort of terrorist attack that will obtain media coverage and uh, public attention um, overall in Europe and worldwide. Um, and what is better for them then trying to use chemical weapons um, and such attack would be breaking news immediately throughout the world. Any comments coming from Iran? Did they comment on it? Did they say anything? Not that I know of yet. Right, and now Israel is reportedly continuing to investigate whether the suspect was planning to strike Jewish or Israeli targets in Germany. What's the likelihood there? I think the likelihood is pretty high. There have been in the past a couple of years other attempts to attack uh, Jewish targets. Um, many Jewish targets are not well protected in Germany. There is security for the major synagogues, um, but a lot of the smaller targets uh, are, are, um, could be easily attacked, as we have seen two years ago at the synagogue in Halle, um, which was attacked by a gunman during the Yom Kippur uh, uh, um, prayers. Um, so this, this would fit the type of attacks that the Iranians are trying to encourage throughout Europe, not only in Germany. Shlomo Spiro, very interesting. Thank you so much for joining us.